Hello everybody and welcome to another watercolor tutorial. Today we are going to be painting something very simple, uh, but sometimes we need a little bit of simplicity so that's what I'm going for. Uh, it is going to be a um, like a beautiful gradiented background with um, with a chain link fence over top to give us that silhouette. Uh, and this is inspired by Art by Ovia. Um, so I'm gonna start out, it's gonna be a very simple gradient. I'm taking a yellowish orange color and um, I'm just applying that to my base and we are painting in portrait position. Um, just applying that yellow and I'm gonna put it a little bit higher than I would like it to be in my gradient because when we put on the, um, the darker color over top, it's going to overtake some of it. So I wanted to account for that. So I'm taking my color here, which is like a pinkish color, pinkish red. And I'm going to just mix that right in. And you see how it overtakes it? So. Now, I'm going to let this completely dry before we paint on the next part. Okay, hopefully this is dry. Now, we can technically paint the chain link fence right over top of this, but in my reference photo, she has applied some mountains or painted some mountains. So we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Um, it appears as though they're initially very, it's like a darker yellow or even some brown mixed in, which is what I'm doing. We're gonna have a, a couple layers, maybe three layers, we'll see. And, um, my mountains are going to kind of swoop up like this in the first layer. And I don't want them to be smooth, which is why I'm going in with a another paintbrush holding it a little bit horizontally to the paper and I'm just adding some kind of rough edges to rough it up a little bit. That's better. Okay, so we're gonna let this layer dry before we paint the next one. Okay, so for the second layer, I'm gonna add a little bit more brown to this one or black to darken it a tad we want it to be a little bit darker than the, the layer uh, underneath and I'm tempted to have it overlap on this side a little bit like so same thing bring it down all the way to the bottom And I'm going to, again, add some, like, rough up the edges so they're not smooth. And you can even go up higher and kind of make pine trees if you want to complicate it a little bit more. By all means, I have no desire to do so. Okay, so let's let this dry and then we'll paint a third layer. So this layer is going to be the darkest of them all. So I've taken a lot more brown for this guy. And it's going to go like this. It's gonna look something like that. And once again, I'm going in with my smaller brush horizontally 
roughing up the edges. Okay, that might actually have been too dark because I wanted, you see how you can still see some of the yellow illuminating? Through those layers where whereas my last layer it's very much um, not that way there I lifted some of that off okay so we're gonna have to let this dry before we kind of paint on our chain link fence Okay, so this should be dry. Um, now, what I am going to do is use a pencil first to paint, uh, sorry, to draw my chain link fence so that I have a reference uh, because if I just were to paint it, then I will inevitably mess up. So I'm gonna start just on the left side here and it's gonna, I mean, you know what a chain link fence roughly looks like, right? So it's just gonna be these long swirly lines that have rounded almost 90 degree angles so like this like this and then uh, you'll have ones that kind of join There we go. And you can make your chains, your links smaller if you wish. <sighs> Although I don't know why I even added that chain link fence. I liked this the way it was without the chain, but I already drew it on. So I'm gonna take black watercolor now. and just follow my pencil marks, basically. I've been trying to sell this one item on Marketplace for a couple months now, and I almost got, I think I only got one reply within those couple months, and it was a, a lowball offer, so I didn't entertain it. But all of a sudden, this morning, I get three replies, all wanting it, which makes me think that there's some sort of algorithm at play that promotes certain things over others because there's no way that suddenly three people would be interested in this item when it's been up for so long and there has been no interest.
Okay. I can, once this black dries, I'm going to erase all the pencil marks that I didn't paint over. Um, now this is looking a little bit bare to me. So we can add some birds like the original artist did flying in the distance here. And she also added a moon. So because I have white acrylic paint handy, I actually remembered to bring it this time into my painting space. So my moon will be here. I'm really not good at doing the crescent moon shapes but I'm going to try. No, I'm not. Who am I kidding? Or maybe I am. No, I'm not. I'm just gonna do a circle. Could be a sun or a moon. Whatever you wanna interpret it as. Was that even on the camera? There we go. And you know what? If you want to potentially mess up your painting, like I tend to want to do, you can pick up some silver or white. If you don't have silver, white will do. And add highlights to your birds. I don't really like that. Oh, you know what? We can add um add it to the add silver to the fence because this fence probably is silver. And if it kind of reflects some of the moon or sunlight, whatever you want to interpret that as. So I'm just applying it to the one to the inside of some of them. Not even all of them. Okay, I'm not gonna bore you and wait until this dries so I can erase the pencil marks. That's pretty straightforward, but I think I'm gonna leave it at that. Usually I would add like a tree or something to spruce this up because it's a little bit plain, but that's okay. We can have a simple painting once in a while. So. Let me know what you guys think of this one. Um, don't forget to hit like, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next tutorial.